It's about to get educational up in this business. Let's do this. I'm about to let loose some rapid fire info, people, and definitions are going to appear on the screen real quick, so pause the video if you need time to read. So there's this thing going around where people say there's more to gender than the binary male-female genders that we are used to, and they're right. To a certain point, there is a happy medium between there are only male and females and I identify as angel gender, which is the gender found only among angels, which is hard to describe to non-angels for God can and angel can only. Whoop. There is a spectrum between the extreme male and the extreme female. And there are three factors that go into determining what sex a person is. Let's begin at the beginning with chromosomes. For those of you who don't know the finer details of the birds and the bees, right off the bat you have your X chromosome from your mama, then there's sexy time, and your father contributes spermatozoan to that hot mess, half of which were X chromosomes, the other half of which were Y. Typically, a spermatozoan joins with an ovum to form a zygote, and that zygote is usually XX for female or XY for male. However, in some cases, the zygote is missing an extra chromosome, like with the Turner syndrome, 45, X, where there is one less X chromosome, or in some cases it will acquire an extra chromosome, like with Klinefelter syndrome, which is 47XXY, XYY, and other combinations such as XXYY, triple X syndrome, 48 quadruple X, and 49 quintuple X, which no does not mean more sexy time for anyone. But hold the front door, I'm about to educate your butt. Even if there are no wacky chromosomal combinations, humans can have chromosomal arrangements different from their obvious phenotype. Okay, so backtrack. When you're a little zygote in your mama's belly, everyone starts out as female, even if the arrangement is XY. What happens to that bun in the oven is at some point it takes a fun little androgen bath and the Y chromosome kicks in and that bun begins to develop your phenotypic male parts. Except, except, except sometimes there's this thing called androgen insensitivity syndrome where the cells are unable to respond to the androgen and thus someone with XY genotypes can present with female genotypes. Links to all this crazy jazz in the description. So this transitions me nicely right into the magic of the endocrine system. Yay! Both males and females have estrogen and testosterone, although in very different quantities. Typically, males will produce a larger amount of testosterone and females will produce a larger amount of estrogen, but we need both for various reasons. Estrogen stimulates cell growth and is a key component in reproduction, while testosterone supports libido, energy, bone density, and memory. If a woman has too much testosterone, she begins to exhibit male typical characteristics such as balding, deepening voice, increased muscle mass, increased clitoris, etc. Well, if a male has too much estrogen, he'll present with characteristics like breast tissue growth, which is called gynecomastia, loss of muscle mass, emotional disturbances, and etc. So all these fun things are going on, affecting not only brain chemistry, but also your physiology. But you ask, what do hormones have to do with the sex of a person? Well, everything, because just with a fully fledged human, there are physiological changes that can occur depending on your hormone exposure in the proverbial of it. Basically, the amount of testosterone present determines whether or not you're going to be in any or an outie that's genitals, not belly buttons, people. Which brings me to the final sex determinant, the thing we've all been waiting for. I know you love them, genitals. So you've got your penis and you've got your vagina and those are all fine and dandy, but what about when you have something that doesn't completely align with our standards or when you have both? What then? I am, of course, and have been alluding to this whole flippin' time about intersex peoples. Quote, intersex in humans and other animals describes various insex characteristics, including chromosomes, gonads, sex hormones, and genitals that according to the UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, do not fit typical binary notions of male and female bodies, end quote. Sex is determined by your genitals, and gender is determined by your brain and social constructs, and sometimes these things aren't totally in alignment. Not for everybody, at least. However, public service announcement. Remember, kids, if they are different, just because you don't identify as a boy or a girl doesn't mean your physiological parts aren't important for, like, health reasons, because, you know, different sex organs can get different health problems, and those health problems probably don't give a flying F what you identify as. Anyway, so it's science. Science has led us to this discovery that sex is not just a simple pink and blue thing, it's a combination of the different things working together to form one human. Knowing this, is it really that implausible to consider the fact that perhaps somewhere down the line of developing into the person you were meant to be, something maybe didn't go according to plan. Maybe you identify as a man and you were born a woman because your brain has been chemically wired that way. Maybe you were born both and you were assigned male but you feel more feminine. Maybe you were born both 
and you identify as neither because you just don't socially feel like that. Maybe you're physiologically a female, but you don't identify as either gender. Shouldn't we just be totally cool with whatever people want to be so long as we can all agree that we're human? I'm sorry if I've upset some in the furry community, but guys, come on. Learning time over. If you like this video, you can click my face to subscribe and there's a link in the description to all of my social media, which is just Twitter right now. So if you want to get on that bandwagon, go ahead, do it. You, you know you want to. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next week. Except, sometimes there's this thing called androgen intensity- <laughs> Except, sometimes there's this thing called androgen intensity- <laughs>